All right, we're here, boys. We done did it. Pro 2 driver, pretty exciting. I actually got the great 08. Stoked on that. Would have made merch, but I didn't know if we were getting the number or not. Nobody else had it, so I assumed we were, but you never know. Anyways, we got it. Number eight, we're here. Pro 2, happened. Pretty dope. Something that's kind of cool, as far as like inspiring for you guys, I wanna kinda of give you guys some insight on this. I don't know if you can see it. Probably should've walked the other way. There it is. I don't know if you can see that way over there. The truck way in between the Achilles and the, the diesel. Way, 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 way over there. That says US Foods on it. Three years ago, four years ago, I was working on doors at their facility, fixing their doors and servicing their docks and doing all that stuff. And we never stopped pushing for this dream. And now, that was just a really cool reminder of like where we started and to now have a Pro 2 hard card as a driver in Formula Drift. Pretty sick. And then to do it with all my boys. Look at Gang Gang, where's that? Gang yeah, Gang! There it is. Hugo's in the back actually working. That's usually how this goes. Yeah, mine's already up there. <laughs> We're here, baby. So moral of the story is, if you want something bad enough, just don't stop, keep going. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Trip. Yeah. The four of us, let's let's set up and then Anthony and Hugo can get started on this. We'll throw the easy up for him first. Leave, uh, leave the door open. No, like the valves and the rubber ones? Or it's not that oh yeah, because you still need to block those off. Yeah. Yeah, that was right. Yeah. Everyone's rolling up. Meeting a bunch of East Coast homies. Got to meet Chris Knapp, Ricky Hoffman, Dustin. I got to say hi to him again because I've seen him already. I met Dustin. Whatever, Dustin. The Olsen, Vegas homies are here. Everybody's here, dude. It's dope because we're going to end up competing against a lot of these guys. And there's a lot of guys here that I've looked up to for a long time. So it's going to be cool to drive against them. To finally be able to go and throw down against these guys is going to be really rad and see what we can do, test it against them. So should be a good day. So, How's the car? Because that's really what doing, today's the boys about. Boys are doing the final touches. Tony's got the fire suppression pull handle pretty much figured out. Got the all the, the tech screws that were used for just mock-up stuff. Those are all swapped out with through bolts now. And then that was pretty much it, I think. Now we're going to go over to the tire guys and drop off all these beautiful three-piece wheels. If any of you guys have ever mounted tires on three-piece wheels, you know how much fun they're going to have. Good luck. What you doing? Zip tying up the cable. Just getting right here. Get the fire suppression. Ran down along. Hooks up in there. Nice. So I'm, I'm here eating my taco. And one of the ladies comes up to me and says, hey, you gotta move your truck because you're blocking the guy that's gonna park next to you. And I'm like, what do you mean the guy's gonna park next to me? No one's parking next to me. No one's supposed to park next to me. I'm supposed to be the end cap of the aisle. I'm, I'm the most expensive end piece that was beautiful. Like when you go to Target, People pay extra to be an end cap, okay? You gotta understand that. And then I look over, and I see the magic man, and I see Cricket, and I was like, I'll move my truck anywhere you are. Right there, right there. Look at this, boys. Find a parking spot for you, Mike. You're all over this next car. Get down there next to the whole path, boys. Now we got the Drift HQ family out here with us as well. You were all worried about who your neighbor was gonna be. Oh, I didn't, I wasn't supposed to have a neighbor. Definitely need to be worried now. Uh -huh. We weren't even on the list. So like, are you guys a late uh, sign up? Like, no, no, pre <laughs> talking to them all season. Yeah. They gave us a hard card and we got here, so. They're late. They're late. We weren't that late. <laughs> Listen, they were, 
Look, that was, is not so sad. It was really yeah. good barbecue <laughs> all along the way. We yeah. had to stop at every barbecue joint we could. To my surprise and my great joy, these boys are right next to us. Couldn't ask for a better pit buddy than that. Push it in, Frankie. The line, line like here, to zip tie it in. Yeah, like if we're zip tying it up there. Yeah, have space for two of them. You want to just bring that second one in there real fast? Yeah. What, and not even have to cut them? Well, we're saying, I was saying like the longer they are, probably the better. Because we'll have more room for air and oil to feed back. And do the weird things that this system does. Oh yeah, it's going to be fun. Put the inside one after the outside one's on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that's a uh, demonstration purposes. Oh, yeah, there you go. Run it. Yes. Uh, it's probably short. I mean, we could even throw them, like, in there. Yeah, but then your wiper will hit it. Why don't you go off that fuel line and go zip tie stand? Well, we can go, we can literally just go four inches off those fittings. Go stand off like this. Go off of that and go pretty zip ties. One, two, three, triple stack. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It'll look nice. Well, I'm trying to keep them up and level with the can, or at least higher than the can. Like if we do five, five inches, right? This is going to cause a spot for, for oil buildup. Build so if we, if, we, if we actually cut them before the wiper, we cut them here. You can put the filters and have them both side by side here and have them as high up as possible. Want to bring a filter? Bring a filter. Then I mean, we can make them super short. We can do super short too, then we don't have to zip tie them up anymore. We can just, they just hang off of the, we do what we the can. Do the... Is there a way we can drill the internals of those out bigger? I don't know if we have a bit that big, actually. I'd like to get those like, as big as possible so there's as much airflow as possible. What do you think, shorties or longs? Yeah, that's okay. I kind of like shorties. What's up, shorty? Yeah, that's me. Let's do shorties. Hey Holmes, like undo the clip and it'll come off cool. Uh, like, cool, well, that's exactly what I'm doing. Do it better. Children. I have children. <gasps> Look, see? What children do? Put my shirt in your throat, Josh. Save it on. In my head? Pull yeah. it. Fuck it. Ah! He's got a couple. Because <laughs> the one's for Tony. It just grew right now. Dang. It became white right now. Yep. Ready? Yeah. Oh, so good. <laughs> you have one more. Get another one. He has a lot. The dude. other one's from Hannah. I don't stress you out. Drifting that one's from Hannah. That out. one's from Hannah. Yeah. Take it. Take it. Oh, oh that, there's one more right there. That one's from Ryder. Get it. Yeah, that's a stupid dog. He, that hair is specifically from trying to play Call of Duty while the dog is barking in the background. <laughs> I feel younger already. <laughs> 30. I thought, I thought they, 30. I thought she did color. I didn't know she just plucks all the other hairs out. So. <laughs> she just plucking all the black hairs out to leave the white one. <laughs> Tony, like, <laughs> why are you struggling so much? I should probably not show you guys struggling. I promise there's nothing wrong with these status racing belts. Where Micah located the well, problem, Tony. Problem. <laughs> I'm done. Did you guys reinforce the ramp? No time. <laughs> no time. Did we reinforce the takeoff ramp? No, we didn't have time. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> We got
gotta go do tech inspection. We just went through tech and we have a few things that we need to fix on the car. The brake light switch needs to be moved from the rear up to a foot within the first the master. For whatever reason I heard like pressure switch and I didn't think like a brake light switch type of thing but it does work off the same. I, I just read past it. That needs to be done. What was the other thing? Um, oh and then the rear bash bar. So the pressure, the brake light pressure switch that runs off of the hydraulics in the system needs to be moved from the rear of the car to a foot within the uh, uh, master in the front because apparently there's a delay. I don't really understand it because I learned hydraulics a little different, but apparently there might be a delay in the system and it can't have that. And then the rear bash bar is on two pins, two bolts. And so when it does hit, it can kind of like twist and do different things with the rear end, which is what we intended to do. But apparently you can't have that and there needs to be a brace between the two pickup points. So if we throw a diagonal bar in it, it'll pass tech. So we gotta also weld the diagonal bar into the system. Kind of frustrating, but all in all for building a brand new car and all that, it's really not that crazy, but it's just like, damn, we're in St. Louis and we don't have a welder and we don't have any material and we don't have any flaring tools or any, I don't know. It's just a lot of stuff. Anyways, I wanna talk about it. Welder? Yeah. You should, uh, what was it? Hit up that one guy last night and see if he knows there's somewhere out here. Which one guy? Oh. Uh, yeah, Nick. Nick, whatever, whatever. <laughs> what a great idea, huh, bro? He said, hit me up if you need anything. I need something, bro. What size is, what's the diameter on it? This is an inch and a quarter. Three quarter, that's like super, super small. Yeah, just get one inch square ticket. 